So we need to kind of pay attention, and that's why I like to tell people the symptoms rather than just slap, throw some herbs at them, because quite frankly, I think there's two different kinds of herbalists. There's herbalists that try to make you healthy, and there's herbalists that try to sell you herbs. Mm -hmm. And you should understand these symptoms so you can watch for them, and then you can tweak your own diet, you know, your own supplementation. And whenever yeah, I'd, I'd like to know what's going on with my body. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's get to the nervines. Besides the liver and the fatty acids and possibly spirulina if you're older, I usually suggest a nervine combination. And there are certain ones that work best. Like all of these will work about 80%. So if you're not sure, just take one of them. It'll probably work for you. But there's some that are better than others. For instance, if it's a child, I usually suggest uh, stress J. Not stress relief, stress J. And that's usually for children who have not hit puberty yet. Although sometimes you have to watch because it has valerian in it, and some children react just the opposite to valerian. Just like some children take... Um, Ritalin, and it calms them down, but Ritalin is actually an upper. So um, sometimes people, even if it's someone under puberty, cannot st tolerate stress J. But if they can, that's really good for kids. As a matter of fact, it was developed by Jeannie Burgess for her grandsons. Chinese stress relief really shine whenever you think you see something out of the corner of your eye. So you're like, you'll think that you see movement and you turn and there's nothing there. I used to have that, and it's a very unnerving thing. I used to feel like somebody like, just walked beside me, and I look and there's nobody there. And another time I was driving down the car, or driving down the road in a car, and my kids are in the back seat and I slam on the brakes, this is before seat belts, and they went flying over and hitting, the, you know, top of the seat. Because I swore there was a deer or something was going to run out in front of us. So that happens quite often. Another thing I did is a couple of times I'd hear, hey, mom. And my kids were in school. There's nobody around. This is something that people don't talk about much. And um, my first class I did is someone emailed me later and said, you know, I really believed everything you said. But once you told me that you heard things that weren't there, I kind of lost a little bit of confidence in you. But they don't realize that's more common than you think, and it's not that you're nuts. It's lacking a nutrient. There's this one young boy that came. Uh, he was a senior in high school, big brawly guy, tough, you know, with a real attitude, sit down, fold his arms, like, yeah, go ahead, cure me, doc, you know. And his parents were, like, beside themselves, and they said, Please help our son. He just, there's something about his attitude. There's something going on. We don't know what it is. So I read, and I found out he had a thin mile of sheet thing, and I asked him about seeing something out of the corner of your eye or hearing your name called or something like that. And he says, well, you think I'm <clears throat> nuts? And he swore, you know. I said, no, I don't think you're nuts. That happens when you're lacking a nutrient. He says, you're trying to tell me you lack a nutrient and you hear, you hear things and see things. I said, Absolutely. His arms went to his side, and he started to bawl. This big guy cried almost like a baby. And he said, I thought I was going insane. You don't understand. I was seeing these things. I was hearing these things, and I thought I was losing my mind. We got oh, him on the Chinese street. I know. Because you don't talk about that. People say, oh, you're hearing things, and that's a sign of being nuts. They don't realize that it's actually a sign of lacking a nutrient. Now, I'm not saying that all people, like some schizophrenics, it's probably, I wouldn't just worry about Chinese stress relief, although mild schizophrenia is benefited by taking Chinese stress relief. So, but I mean, there's, there's limitations to this. But a lot of times, these real slight symptoms are nothing more than lacking a nutrient. And Chinese stress relief gets rid of it. Or actually, 
illegal to say that. Chinese stress relief helps the body get rid of it. All right, now, and this really works for people that are from puberty to 25 years old. That's, I usually give this for those people, those age groups. And some adults, if the adults are having the same symptoms, I would do it then too, but it really seems to work for younger kids. And then nerve control seems to help if you double check a lot. If you got your keys, if you lock the door, things like that. Can't think of that. Watch a jig it. What you call it? <laughs> 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 That's me. <laughs> <laughs> the poor memory. That's usually fatty acids. <laughs> oh, I thought. Well, I think the nerve control helps me. Oh yeah, it does. Yep. All these things work together. You know, like I'll have people say, all right, I have this, but I don't even want to take one herb. Which one should I take? And I said, it's like saying, you know, I want to make a chocolate cake. What do I use? Do I use flour? Do I use eggs? Do I use sugar? What one, one nutrient can I make this cake out of? And you can't. The nervous system is made out of many different nutrients. So taking one thing just doesn't work. Does that count if you're sound asleep? At night, like early, early in the morning, and you hear the phone ring, and you wake up, and the phone didn't ring. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely, it can be. Yeah, so take the Chinese stress relief. It may help that. <laughs> okay. Can you okay. take the two together? Yeah, you can, and I've had Nerve control? Take yep. And Absolutely. Chinese stress relief. Okay. Yep. Because I know some people that the, the valerian causes a little bit of upset stomach or... You know, they get a little bit hyper if they take too much of it, so they'll take two, the two different kinds. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're on the last page here, so almost done. I want to talk a little bit more about diets, do's, and don'ts. Turkey contains something called tryptophan. Now, tryptophan is an amino acid that the body uses to produce serotonin. So if yeah. you can oh, tolerate it. I, I had to chuckle when, when I saw that turkey up there because, like, when Thanksgiving comes, I can never get enough of it. <laughs> really? Like, you know how most people are, like, two days after they're so sick and tired of turkey? I'm eating it for two weeks later, and when it's gone, I'm disappointed. Well, there you go. And Is then I just had a thought, like, last month after I've been taking these herbs for a while, start having turkey once a month. Don't wait for Thanksgiving. Absolutely. I get turkey legs. You don't have to buy the whole turkey. You get turkey legs, you know. Well, I've been, uh, I, I bought the whole turkey, and then I saved the carcass and put it in the freezer, and when I have time, I make soup out of it. There you go. Or cook a whole turkey and then slice it up and put it in the freezer and then heat it up. But, yeah, turkey has, has L-tryptophan. Now, there's some people that have gout that cannot do a lot of turkey, but if you can, turkey will help. And usually when you crave it like that, you're probably lacking L-tryptophan for your nervous system. Salmon and cod have omega-3 oils in. If you can get a really good source that you know there is no mercury or radiation, and if you take salmon oil, make sure it's from a really, really good company. Now, how would you know what a good company is? You have to do a lot of research. Uh, okay. A lot of research, and you have to ask them in writing, do you test for mercury? Is it a wild-crafted, where are they raised, you know? Because they'll say, oh, well, these are organically raised fish, but if there's mercury in the water, it doesn't matter what they gave them to eat. So you have to ask questions, a lot of questions. Okay. Okay? I like salmon, too. See, I never liked salmon. Oh, I love it. I, I didn't think I wouldn't, and I, you know how they have those samples at Walmart and Sam's Club and stuff? Uh -huh. I tried it one time, and I just fell in love with it. <laughs> but I don't buy it that much because it's really expensive. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. Okay, and in general, I would eat a good, healthy diet with raw vegetables, fruits. No, you can't eat a lot of garbage and expect your body to heal anything. And most people don't know this, but... Organic bananas contain serotonin. Mm 